Steve Weissman, Chanda Rubin, who was sidelined for this match, and James Blake. This was an incredible showing from both players, Chanda. Just a battle back and forth. How did Paula Bedosa pull through in the end? Uh, it was amazing. And the heart that she showed, the confidence, the poise. And, you know, she just never gave in. And that was especially important against Victoria Azarenka, who is one of the best competitors out there, one of the best fighters. And both these players showed so much over such a long period of time, over you know, three hours for this match. And at the end, they were playing some of their best points. I think at the end, what was most impressive for me about Paula Bedosa was she kept swinging. She actually got bigger at the end of that match in that tie break. She learned from the first set and the second set as well. She learned from a number of her previous matches throughout the tournament, and that's the mark of a really great player, able to make adjustments under the most pressure-filled situations, and she got it done on the biggest stage so far in her young career. It was simply amazing. Yeah, I mean, you got to feel a little, a little bad for Vika Azarenka. Played an unbelievable match. She was serving for the match there in the third set. You think? I was thinking to myself, neither one of them deserves to lose this match. It's you know, it's going to be tough for Paula Badosa. She turns it around, comes back, and then plays an unbelievable tiebreak. The first set tiebreak and third set tiebreak. She played some of the best tennis of this match, and it was already an unbelievably high level. So heart goes out to Vika Azarenka, but there had to be someone that goes down in this match, and it was just, I mean, so hard fought the entire time.